Hi friends and welcome to the book refuge. Today I'm doing another book haul. Um, I made, it was my birthday last month so I had had some gift cards towards some things as well as I made the poor decision <laughs> to order from both thrift books and book outlet. I know it's a thing but yeah also pardon me for this today. I am kind of sick, but filming makes me feel better. So if you guys can handle it, I am okay. Um, have my tissues here because leaking like a faucet. Anyway, TMI, but who cares? You're here. You love me. Let's go. So first, I want to start with a book that I cannot wait to read. It is so beautiful. I picked up Elliot Brooks. Peace and Turmoil, The Dark Shores, book one. This is gorgeous. This is a self-published book. She has beautiful art inside. Um, it looks so exciting. Murphy just read this and she said she loved it. So I did order it <clears throat> and got it on its release day. Don't know when I'll have time to read this, but I want to get to it as soon as I can. It is so beautiful. I love self-published hardcover books, even though they cost a lot this is gorgeous so I know this is about um, a magical world where like items are imbued with different kinds of magic and this one specifically is about this dagger that's all I really know that's all I really need to know I'm excited to try it then I might as well share it because one of these books was already in my wrap-up I read I've already read Beautiful Bastard but I bought the entire series on thrift books they were only like three dollars a piece and I just went for it I don't know if I'll like the other characters but I really like Christina and Lauren's like writing style if you don't know Christina Lauren is two women who they started out this is supposedly Twilight fan fiction I don't really see it I don't really get that but I really enjoyed the story it was about Chloe and Bennett um and their relationship and it was awesome And so I bought the whole series. So we'll see how that goes. Why don't we just get through the rest of the smut that I bought too. So also I already bought and read The Kiss Quotient by Helen Wong. I gave this like four stars, I thought. It was really fun. Like everyone on BookTube has read this who reads romance. So, um, but this is about a woman who has Asperger's or is on the autism spectrum. And she hires someone to teach her about sex. And it's super cute. Also has fake draining trope. Then I picked up Hate to Want You by Alicia Ray. Um, I have seen this on um, Peace Love Books channel. She said this is a good enemies to lovers one. It's kind of like a Romeo and Juliet um, thing. The, this, these two people from um, conflicting like mob families, they like meet once a year for a night of passion. And then one time the girl doesn't show up and the guy kind of wonders what happened to her. Then I also picked up, why do I keep, I'm just so awkward. Then I picked up From Here to You by Jamie McGuire. Um, this is about a woman who is, <clears throat> finds out she's pregnant on her wedding day and realizes that the guy she's marrying would not be the best father for her baby. So she runs away, um, but he is coming after her and... This Marine gets sent to, like, watch her, and I think he ends up, like, falling for her or something. I've read Jamie McGuire before, and I quite liked her. Um, and then I also picked up Frostbite, A Werewolf Tale by David Wellington. I've heard this is a fun, like, um, werewolf horror story, which is kind of exciting to me. I haven't read any where, like, werewolves are legit evil. They're always, like, some kind of secret good guy, and I don't know if that's the case in here, but it looks exciting to me. Looks ferocious, so I thought I'd pick that up. Also picked up Misconduct by Penelope Douglas. I really, when I was on Book Outlet, I just looked up any of her books on there that I could buy. Most of them aren't available, but this one was, and it's like a brand new one pretty much. So this one is about a girl named Easton who um, is a teacher. She used to be a tennis player, now she's a teacher, and she meets one of the parents of her student, and they have a thing. So, looks pretty sexy. Also, for my birthday, 
I received The Immortalist by Chloe Benjamin from one of my friends. Um, she had no idea if I would like this, but she was like, it looked pretty and I wanted to give it to you. And I've seen this around. Um, this one takes place in um, 1969 in New York's city's Lower East Side. And there's a group of these like gold children, these four people who um, have magical powers. So it's like a magical realism. I don't know. That's not usually my thing, but, um, my friend got it for me. So I'm definitely going to give it a try. It looks fun. I also picked up books three and four in the wheel of time. Not much to say about that. I've started reading that series. I'm reading the second one this month and I figured I would pick up these two just to have them in case I'm ready to dive in. So I did that. Then I picked up A Thing with Feathers by McCall Hoyle. I read one of her books last year that was called um, Meet the Sky. Um, and this is about a character you meet in that book who she has seizures and then she has like a dog that is her like support animal who can like sense when she's going to have one and will like protect her. Um, and because of these seizures, she lives with a lot of limitations, but yeah, she is in that other book really briefly and I really enjoyed it. So, you know, for $3, I'm willing to pick it up. Also on Book Outlet, I picked up two of their Paper Mill Press classics. Um, I don't read a ton of classics. I'm falling behind on my goal to read classics this year. So I picked up two that I read before and love. One of the rereads I wanted to do was Jane Eyre. And so I bought this beautiful copy of it. It is so beautiful. And like, who doesn't want a pretty new copy to read when they read it? So I'm loving that. And then I also picked up A Call of the Wild by Jack London. This was actually the first classic I ever read as a kid. A story of, um, I love Jack London's writing. It's so beautiful. And I mean, this book is under 100 pages. And so that'll be a quick one to like add to my list. And these are just beautiful. I wish I wanted all the classics on there. And maybe I'll go back and pick out a few more. But these are adorable. The last few books I got from Book Outlet, I'll go through. I brought, bought Stormcaster, which is the second in the Shattered Realms series by Cinda Williams Chima. Haven't even read the first one, but this was only $3, and so I picked up the next one because I have problems. Then I picked up books one through three in the Charlotte Holmes series by Brittany Cavallero. The last book just came out, and I got each of these for like four, four, and seven. Um, and this one's literally brand new. Like nobody's read this one yet. And I've heard these are really cute and fun and that they're, they're really underrated. And so they had all three of them on book outlet. So I scooped them up because a bunch of my um, friends who read them really like them. All right. Now I have a stack of books that I got from Barnes and Noble. So, um, and a lot of them are like new releases that I picked up. So I'll show you these. So I picked up Sherwood by Megan Spooner. She helped write a series with Amy Kaufman, and I've been waiting for this one to come out um, because I've read some pretty shaky, like, Robin Hood retellings that I haven't liked, and this one seems super cool. I have her other book that's a Beauty and the Beast retelling, and I never read it, um, but I'm going to try to change that because this one looks super fun, so I want to give this a try. So it's called Sherwood. Then I picked up The Near Witch by V.E. Schwab. This is a re-release. I guess this is like her first book she wrote. It's the special Barnes & Noble edition. It's really pretty. I don't know too much about it, except that it says that um, it's kind of like a fairy tale and a love story. And so like the ch these children start disappearing and then they have to try to find them. So, I mean, that's all that I know, but it's beautiful and it's V.E. Schwab and I really want to get into more of her books. So I thought I'd do that. Now I have a, um, The Waking Forest by Alyssa Wies. Really pretty. This one is pretty short. It's only, it's under 300 pages. And this is about a girl named Rhea who, um, the forest is like a mirage to her. And when she tries to touch it, it vanishes. Um, and she wants to know more about it. And so there's a boy who offers to reveal it to her if she plays a game with him. And she doesn't know if she wants to do that or not. Again, these next like four I'm showing you are literally cover buys because they're beautiful. Then I also picked up The Antidote by Shelley Sackier. 
which is, come on, yeah, it's gorgeous. Um, so this is about a girl named Fee, who is a healer, and she's best friends with the crown prince, and he's sick, and nobody can cure it, and so she tries to find um, a magic antidote to help him. That seems to be what this one's about. This is super cool. Oh, guys, I'm just overwhelmed by all the wonderful books I want to read. Sorry, my lighting is freaking out a little bit. Then I picked up Wicked Saints by Emily Duncan. I've been wanting this one for a while. Um, just all the people that have like blurbed it and um, all the people who have read it so far have said like super good things. Um, and this is about a girl, a prince and a monster and their paths will become entwined. I've heard this is like a villain's love story. So what I've heard people say is that like, if Alina really got with the Darkling, that would be this. My lighting is going to crap. I only have one more book left. And then I picked up The Last Voyage of Poe Blythe by Ali Condi. I've read all of Ali Condi's books. Some I've loved, some I haven't. She did the Match series. And Poe is actually a girl who has vowed to annihilate these pirates who robbed her a few years back. And it's really pretty, and that's why I bought it. So there you go. Sorry for this like low enthusiasm. Like I said, I really wanted to film even though I wasn't feeling super good. Sorry, I'll turn my camera. Um, and so, yeah, but I ended up having so many books that I like needed to film a haul because I can't like had it, like I can't like put my books away until I do that. So I really wanted to, so that I can organize them because my stack was getting huge. So anyway, let me know which one you'd like me to read first. Let me know what you've thought of some of the ones you have read. Um, and I make new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and you can watch some more of those right now. Bye.